the spontaneous brain from the mind body to the world brain problem. You see, this is the title of my recent book, which comes out at MIT Press in September 2018. What is the main thesis in this book? We haven't solved the problem of mental features like consciousness, sense of self and others. That's why we have the mind-body problem. The core assumption in this book, we don't need the mind-body problem, conceives the brain and its spontaneous activity within the context of the world. And you see this already in the cover. What the core problem in current neuroscience is how can we account for the subjective nature of mental features. In consciousness, you experience subjectively, you feel bored, nobody else can experience your body. We haven't figured out how consciousness is related to the brain. So, there's a gap. The central assumption in this book is that we do not only need to consider the brain itself, which of course neuroscience focuses on, but we need to conceive the brain in the context of the world. So meaning we need to conceive how the brain integrates within and aligns to the world. This is what I, I mean by world-brain relation. So, the mind-body problem is a problem which has long been lingering in philosophy at least since René Descartes in the 15th, 16th century, who assumed that there's a mind, a non-physical mind, and a physical body. And then, of course, the question arises, how are they related to each other? You can see, and that leads to problem, even you don't know when to get up. Now, as I already said, we need to conceive the brain in the context of the world. So we need to take a look beyond the brain itself and how it integrates in the world. Meaning, we need to consider the world-brain relation. And then suddenly the mind-body problem is dissolved and replaced by what call a world-brain problem. Now, you might feel uh, confused. What does Georg Nordhoff do here? He wants to eliminate the mind? No consciousness? No self? No, that's not what I'm intending to do. I try to preserve mental features. I ve take very seriously that you have an experience of a self, a consciousness, experience of free will. However, I claim that you, we don't need to attribute them to a mind anymore, as a separate entity. Instead, we can link them to the world brain relation. But for that, we need to consider the brain in the context of the world. And in order to do so, we basically require a Copernican revolution. Remember, Copernicus, the revolutionary insight of Copernicus was that he conceived the Earth as part of the wider universe. The Earth was no longer the center of the universe. Instead, it was part of the universe, and then it was clear that the Earth itself moves within the universe rather than the universe moving around the Earth. Some people called it a humiliation. We are no longer the center of the world. Further humiliations occurred, like Darby. We are no longer God creation species. We are part of an ongoing evolution coming from monkeys and other species. Sigmund Freud said, consciousness is no longer the, it's just the tip of the iceberg of an ongoing unconsciousness. So he put consciousness into the wider context of the unconscious. Now, what I'm saying is exactly the same. The world doesn't revolve around our brain and mind. Instead, the brain is part of the wider world and basically exemplifies the dynamics of the world and integrates within the wider world. This is what I try to indicate here. So I say that we need nothing less than a Copernican revolution, decenter ourselves 
no longer consider the brain as the center of the universe and the world, but consider the brain as part of the world. That's why I like to speak of a world brain problem. The world brain problem describes how the brain is integrated and aligned to the world. That's the central argument of my book, The Spontaneous Brain, because I say that the spontaneous activity of the brain has a certain spatial temporal structure which makes it possible for the brain to align and integrate itself within the time and space of the ongoing world. World brain relation. That's why from the mind. And then we don't need the concept of mind anymore. We can replace it by the concept of world brain relation. Thank you very much.